Hello again everyone, this is Game Collector here, and this week I have with me Transformers Prime RC, or at least her box, for now. Um, here's the front. Two weapons combined, yeah. Um, I wouldn't call what they do combining, so really. Here are her stats. Strength 4, Intelligence 7, Speed 8, Endurance 5, Rank 7, Courage 9, Fire Blast or Fire Power 4, and Skill 8. <coughs> Excuse me. And on the back of the box, there's a picture of her with the big ass, really big bayonet rifle. And let's try to set this up. Yeah. There's your bio. Is it readable? If it is, please pause it when it is. Okay. Put that off to the side for now, and here is her bike form, and that's where her weapons store on the front wheel. Both of them. So, to get her as a normal motorcycle, you just pull that off. Both of them. And, yeah, that's also kind of where they'll... I'll, I'll show you how they store in their in her robot mode when we get there. She's just a normal little motorcycle here. I know nothing about motorcycles so I can't even describe I'm pretty sure it's just a fictional make so yeah. We'll just go with that. And the first part is for robot mode you pull this forward and back extend the little side panels here and then you just pull down the back wheel assembly so she looks like she might be hopping around on a unicycle wheel and then these are actually pegged together very 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 tightly so you actually have to work at splitting them apart. Thankfully next week's won't have as much chore and transformation. There we go. Now you fold her foot up and this part, or was it fold this? Okay. You fold this about halfway yeah, and because it's such a thick joint right there, I'm always frightened to fold her foot in robot mode, and it gives her little high-heeled boots. Right here is the heel, and there's the toe. And then you do it again here. Yes. Again, that is just so thick, sometimes afraid. I'm, I'm afraid this part will just snap right off. And so you have the legs. Alright, and remember to fold up the little kickstand, or fold it down, or whatever. Now to pull her arms out, fold them up, and stuff. Because they do peg in quite securely onto the torso. And when you push her lower body into place, it makes her head pop up and lets her backpack slide down. And there's RC and robot. Oh, right. You also have to push the shoulders down. Because there's that problem. Here are our weapons which can actually peg in several different ways. 
you have the standard arm blade configuration which I'm going with I'm going with the standard configurations first arm blade on one side and yes I'm actually trying to look for a first edition of her as well because I have seen first editions at my Toys R Us now And this little peg here, she can also hold it like a gun, or other Prime figures can hold hers like a standard gun. Or, it can peg on the underside of her arm, so she can actually hold other weapons if she wants, while still carrying very big weapons. And pardon me for the mild moment of silence, but I just remembered. Guess what I found? Since I didn't include it on the other videos, I didn't think of fetching it. And yes, like all of my videos, I record all at once. So this is something of a marathon here, and... Maybe I should just lower the camera a bit? Yeah, so... Or, or raise it rather. So when I hold her up, you get to see your little light piped eyes. And while on the show, it usually shows the trim as being pink or silver, usually a very light shade of pink. On the toy, it's silver. I wonder why. Unless she got the New York Comic Con version, and then she's molded completely in pink, and white. But that would be the first edition mold, which I don't have. So I can't say anything about it, because I don't have it. I can't form opinions on things that I haven't had contact with, so whatever. And now, taking a rifle and putting it in her bayonet mode. So she can stab and shoot at the same time, or slash and shoot at the same time. And because she has the very big legs and the, and the very thick heel, she, this thing doesn't really make her lose her balance, despite the little tiny arms. And, oh yes, I also forgot for a transformation, that should be turned sideways. Now, as for weapon storage, in robot mode at least, this little piece should go here. And there's actually a cool little pose you can do as long as it's there. And this, while standing, there's a hint right there. It can be stored like that. Been a while since a deluxe can actually store their weapons while in robot mode. Unfortunately, her vehicle mode has something to be desired when her weapons are hidden. Considering the weapons not are not all that hidden. As for posability... I'm going to do a right side so the gun doesn't get in the way. But the handlebars get in the way anyway. She has a ball joint shoulder, so 360 degree there. Single ball joint elbow and a ball joint at her wrist. I should probably raise the camera a bit. Ball joint at the thigh. This is as far as out as it can go. A hinged knee. Oh, and a thigh swivel. Her neck is the ball for the ball joint, so there is some 360 degree movement. She can't look up, but she can kind of glance downwards 
or look downwards. That's also due in part to transformation. Now, as for that little surprise pose, you can, because of her weapons, you can actually give her a, uh, give her something of a kickstand. The gun becomes the kickstand, obviously. So you can just have her chillin'. You can have her lay like this and chilling on the shelf, and it's RC. She's probably going to be the eye candy on the Transformers section. Unless you have a Beast Wars uh, Transmetal 2 Black Arachnia. And I'm probably making you cry by wishing you ha by making you wish you had one. Because I don't have one either, but I'm okay with that. And there she, that's RC. Got one more for Transformers Prime, and after that, we will be going into Import Month, which was Gundam Month last year. So, I will see you all again next week with my last Transformers Prime video. Until then, later!